Book Summary by Teddy Bear Storytime Fahrenheit 451 by Ray Bradbury Fahrenheit 451 is a dystopian novel written by Ray Bradbury, first published in 1953. Set in a future society where books are banned and firemen burn any that are found, the novel explores themes of censorship, conformity, and the power of literature. Bradbury's work is often seen as a commentary on the dangers of authoritarianism and the suppression of free thought. Characters Guy Montag, the protagonist and a fireman tasked with burning books. As the story progresses, he begins to question his role in society and seeks to find meaning beyond his prescribed duties. Mildred Montag, Guy's wife, who represents the complacency and conformity of the society in which they live. Captain Beatty, Montag's boss and a high-ranking fireman who enforces the government's censorship policies. Clarice McClellan, a young woman who challenges Montag's beliefs and introduces him to new ideas. Professor Faber, a former English professor who helps Montag understand the importance of books and free thought. Book Summary Set in a future America where books are outlawed, Fahrenheit 451 follows Guy Montag, a fireman who burns books for a living. Dissatisfied with his life and increasingly disillusioned with the oppressive society he lives in, Montag begins to question the government's censorship policies after encountering Clarice, a young woman who challenges his worldview. As Montag delves deeper into forbidden literature, he becomes increasingly aware of the importance of critical thinking and the dangers of conformity. Eventually, he rebels against the oppressive regime, leading to a dramatic confrontation with his superiors and a harrowing escape from the city. Along the way, Montag encounters Professor Faber, who becomes a mental figure and helps him understand the value of literature and the need to preserve knowledge in the face of censorship. Themes Censorship Bradbury explores the dangers of censorship and the suppression of free thought, highlighting the importance of literature in preserving knowledge and promoting critical thinking. Conformity versus individuality The novel contrasts the oppressive conformity of society with the rebellious spirit of individuals like Montag and Clarice, who challenge the status quo and embrace their individuality. The power of literature Fahrenheit 451 celebrates the transformative power of literature and the role it plays in shaping society and fostering empathy and understanding. Analysis Fahrenheit 451 is a powerful and thought-provoking exploration of censorship and the importance of free expression. Bradbury's vivid imagery and evocative prose create a haunting portrait of a dystopian society where intellectual freedom is suppressed in favor of mindless entertainment and conformity. Through Montag's journey of self-discovery and rebellion, Bradbury challenges readers to question authority and think critically about the world around them. The novel's enduring relevance and impact make it a timeless classic of science fiction literature. Conclusion In conclusion, Fahrenheit 451 is a seminal work of dystopian fiction that continues to resonate with readers today. Ray Bradbury's cautionary tale serves as a stark warning against the dangers of censorship and the erosion of individual freedoms. By exploring themes of conformity, censorship, and the power of literature, Bradbury invites readers to consider the consequences of unchecked authority and the importance of defending intellectual freedom. Fahrenheit 451 remains a poignant reminder of the value of literature and the enduring struggle for truth and freedom in the face of oppression. The End Love the book summary. Subscribe Teddy Bear's Storytime YouTube channel now. Like the video. Turn on the notifications and leave your comments. See you in next book.